Hello, my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel. It's book haul time. So in March, compared to January and February, I got quite many books. Like more than those two months combined. But I had a reason. Because there was this book expo thing happening and I went to it and of course I broke <laughs> and I bought some books but let's just go through the books first I'm gonna start with the ones I didn't get in that book expo thing so yeah I have some book box books and some some one random purchase when I stepped into a bookshop and decided that I need to buy some books. Let's see what I got. First, I have The Wolf Wilder by Catherine Rondell. And this is a um, polar fantasy, from what I know. It is kind of Russian folklore inspired, I think. And I know Sasha liked it, I think. I hope I'm not mistaken, because I think Sasha from The Wild Sasha enjoyed this book a lot. And that's why I decided to get it when I saw that it was translated to Latvian. And I really like the cover. It looks a bit like a red riding hood, right? Because of the red cape and wolves. But yeah, I don't know what it is about, but I will... I think I probably will save it for some polar ton because I don't have a lot of wintry books. And then there was the special offer of Lisa Jules' book, Then She Was Gone. And yeah. I've been not looking at this one because I have been wanting to try Lisa Jewel for a while and I saw this one discounted so I got it. All I know that it is a thriller, I think. And yeah, looks like there are two timelines. Something happened in the past and then there is now when things are being figured out, I think. Now to the book box books. I have A River Enchanted. This is February's Illumicrate. The book is by Rebecca Ross and I think it has something to do with music. It is a beautiful book, but yeah, I don't know much about it. And the more time passes, the less I know about the books I got. Then there is a romance box by Illumicrate and it's called Afterlight. In February there was Delia Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake. Looks like it is a female-female romance, and I think there was something to do with the wedding, but that's kind of all I know. Then in February's Fairy Loot, we had a really gorgeous book, and it is The Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. Look, it is so pretty, I can't. I can't. Those The books lately from the book boxes, they are... <laughs> They are so beautiful, I can't. How? Why? But yeah, I think this is some kind of um, mythology inspired? Asian mythology, I think. But I'm not sure. But it is gorgeous. And then since I have first two books from Fairy Loot, then I got the third, The Righteous by Rene Adier. I still haven't read the first one. Of course, in the second one neither, but I have the third one now. It is a vampire story. That's all I know. It's set in New Orleans, I think. Like in... It's kind of historical fiction. Fantasy. If I remember correctly. But looks like it. Because this dress is definitely not from nowadays. So yeah. That's all I can say about this one. So now to the books I got at the book expo thingy. First, this one I got for free. This is a poetry collection by Raphael Alberti. This is translated poetry. And I like that how it was like designed. I really enjoyed it. So I decided that I will take it and see how I like it. But it is an interesting looking book. And then I got three books by the same author. Children's books. This one is Cat on the piano by Ines Zander and of course I got it because it has a cat on the cover and in the title and it is children's poems 
and it is beautifully illustrated. There are cats. That is the main reason why I got this one, because of the cats. And then these two, they are part one and part two of a story called Boy with a Dog. And it is a historical fiction set in World War II about a boy whose father is saving Jews. I think I think it's probably quite emotional story knowing what was done to Jews in Second World War. So yeah, we'll see how it will go. But I really like how these books look like they are old. They are even like the pages are not cut open here at the top on purpose. So yeah, you have to cut them open yourself. So I don't know. I just really like it like this. Then I have a soft spot for this one Latvian composer. He died really young and he lived in early 1900s. I have written um, quite a few papers on him, about him, and yeah, so I decided to get a um, biographical novel about him by Maya Krekle, and it is about Emil Darzinc. My favorite ever classical piece is by this composer. So yeah, I, I, I think I just need to read it because as I said, I have a soft spot when I see anything about him. Because he didn't have an easy life. His death was a tragic event, kinda. And it is still unknown what actually happened. He was hit by a train and he was recognized only by his clothes. So it is a tragic story, but I know it because I've heard and read quite a few things about him. So yeah, now I will see how this one goes. I got quite a lot of historical fiction-y things because these two are by the same author. They are like connected stories. These are biographical stories about the author's childhood. This is Mara Zali and her book Five Fingers and this is The Birds of Paradise. I think Five Fingers have been translated to English, so it is available. But yeah, these are two books that I've been looking at for a really, really long time. And I finally got them. Next, I have one more historical fiction. This one is called The Daughter, or in Latvian, Meitinja. And this is a Ukrainian author book about 2014 and what happened in Donetsk. Yeah, so the actual war that is now happening started back in 2014, and I think this is about events back there. So, yeah, I think it's going to be emotional and hard read, but we'll see. I heard that it is quite humorous, too, because of the way the author like tells the, st tells the story. There are some jokes, and it can be funny, but yeah, it is about quite like I don't know hard things. One more historical book and this one is Blizzard of Souls or Dvesel Putins by Alexander Greens. This is a Latvian author and he participated, he took part in World War One and this is his story kinda set in World War One. It is a big one. It is a hard one. This is a movie cover and there are some pictures from the movie set, I think, inside too. So yeah, this, I have read it. I read it like a really long time ago when I was in seventh grade because it was on the list of the books that we had to read and I read it back then. And it wasn't an easy read, but I want to reread it, though I know it is not something like that is easy because yeah it is part of my country's history and it is hard but there is a movie if you ever have a chance it is called blizzard of souls so you can watch it it is a good movie 
I think. Next, I have first and second book in Murderbot series by Marta Wells. This is the second and this is the first book. It is a sci-fi. It is quite short. I've heard a lot of good things about it because it's about robots. I am definitely excited for this because, yeah, I like sci-fi. If you didn't know, but if you have watched my channel for a while, you know that I like sci-fi. Then I have book that I have read, but I read it in English, and it is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This is a kind of dystopian sci-fi thing. It is set after a pandemic, and there is a trope who is traveling around playing Shakespeare, I think, if I remember correctly. It was interesting, but yeah, I don't really remember that much. But I have it now. I can reread it whenever I want to. And the last book I have, The Dogs of War by Adrian Tchaikovsky. It is about biologically changed, like, dogs for war. They are, like, bigger, stronger, and yeah. So yeah, we'll see <laughs> how it is, because it is a fantasy and kind of bit of a sci-fi, because, like, yeah, I think, I don't know. I honestly don't know a lot of things, but yeah, so. So, this is it. I got quite a lot of books in March, but I will definitely be better and not get so much in April. So yeah, I will be good. Like in January and February. Because I don't need that many more books. I need to not buy them. But yeah, <laughs> that's it. So yeah. Please let me know, have you read any of these books? What did you think about them? Are you interested in any of them? So yeah, please talk to me in the comments down below. If you don't know what to say, leave me a bookstack emoji. I will be happy to see it too. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye.